Yes. We hit that Aujun. Oh no, this Revenant's teleporting at us. I want the kill though. Yes! We got a kill. Yeah, we got a kill with the Hydra. I can't believe I'm doing this. This might be the stupidest thing I've done in a long time, but I got four Hydra to Mark III. These are one of the oldest weapons in the game. They are homing missiles, 12 second reload time. We have a Mark III Hydra. Am I the only player to ever max out Hydra to Mark III? I haven't used these in so long. Like, even when they were usable, I never tried them. But let's see how they are Mark III. We have double nuke amplifiers. If we can even get the nuke amplifier stacked up. The River Chase pilot here on the Typhon. So we will have that damage boost when we use our ability. Man, these weapons, if you're an old player, you know what they are. If you're a new player, you've probably never even bothered to use them or try them. Because they're so weird. I'm going to show you guys just how well these things perform, if well at all. Okay, here we go. Beacon Rush. Okay, we've landed in Canyon, and I say we go right away with our Typhon with Mark III Hydra. If my teammates look at me, they're going to think I'm an absolute doorknob for <laughs> running this build. Okay, remember, so they're lock on weapons. We have a 600 meter range, and the AI... Okay, ooh, we hit that guy with that Kepri there. He's got an anti-control. We EMP'd him. Okay, that damage looked pretty pathetic. But the Kepri's, depending if he's using ability, using his ability, they can have a lot of durability. So we might not have to shoot a more normal robot to really see the damage. So look, we're just firing these things in the... Actually, that's some damage there. That's a little bit... Oh, now he's healing up. So the AI of the homing missiles is actually pretty good. So they do curve around objects and buildings pretty well. At one point back in the day, it was such an issue that people would actually complain about it being like, you know, Hydras are so annoying because they curve around all these buildings. And now we have freaking weapons that curve bullets. So awesome. Uh oh, this Hiroshi's coming. Is he coming at us? He might be coming at us. Uh-oh, we gotta back up. Man, I can't do anything to stop this Hiroshi. Especially because he has stealth. So whenever he goes into stealth, we lose our lock-on. Come on, let's get his last in. Oh, Absorber Shield. Man, the fact that there's a 12-second reload on these is the stupidest thing ever. Okay, hold on, hold on. Oh, now we gotta get through his Aegis Shield. We can't even get... I can't. This is a joke. This is the stupidest thing ever. That is the weird... I never noticed that. You actually... Your nuke amplifier will load up if you hit Aegis shields? How did I never realize that? Let me know in the comments if you guys have seen that. Okay, good. We're capturing this beacon. Nobody dropped in here. But I thought it was just straight up damage. But it's um, real healing... Not healing. Uh oh, hold on, hold on. Can we get a kill? Come on, we didn't even get a kill! Oh, we got a kill there. Okay, it was with our Orion, though, so we kind of cheated. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Yeah, so I guess new campfires stack up, whether it's an Aegis shield or actual damage. Okay, our nuke amplifier is actually stacked up. The enemy team only has three pla four players? Three players? Okay, let's see what these things do. Okay, this is max damage Hydra. Man, this is actually not bad damage. If you guys were just looking at that, that damage wasn't too bad. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, thank Jesus that that guy didn't keep pursuing us because there's no way we're taking down a max revenant. I think a Kepri is boosting us up right now. But it's like, man, don't even waste your boost on us. This is the stupidest build of all time. If the game gets close, I'm going to ditch this thing because I don't want to be the reason my team loses. Look at our speed right now. Oh. Man, it's crazy how these were the original troll weapon of the game. Hold on, can we get... Man, look at that damage. Oh, we lost the lock on. Oh, bloody hell. Yeah, these were the original trolling weapon of the game. But then eventually came Shock Train, which were super annoying. That curved around and hit multiple enemy enemies and then there was and now there's this smuted Razda. It seems like there's always some kind of this really annoying weapon in the game. 
The thing with the Hydra, they never did a ton of damage. Uh-oh, this guy's getting our home beacon. Uh-oh, can we get this guy? Can somebody take down his shield for me? I can't take down his shield. We're wasting our whole clip just taking down his shield. Oh, and then we hit him and he's got an anti-control or resistance. Darn it. Okay, let's move in. Let's move in. We gotta grab this beacon. I love how... Uh-oh, this guy might be coming for us. What is this thing? Is this an Oroshi? No, this is a Nightingale. Okay, this is a Nightingale. We hit him with the blackout. Now we have to wait 12 seconds to shoot these little gumball weapons at the enemy. And he's taken off. Okay, we have a four cap, so it looks like we may get the win there. Man. Hold on. Maybe we should try another game, but use the... Because uh, I think this is our best chance. Hold on, hold on. we got to take out this guy. We have to get this kill. I don't think... Have we got one kill? We didn't even get the kill. I don't even know if we got one kill that whole game with the Hydra. We got one with the Orion. <laughs> Let's see what our damage was just using those. 1.22 beacons. That is last on our team. That was pretty garbage. Enemy team was down one player, but man... Okay, we're going to try one more game. I'm not recommending using these weapons, but let's try it. One more game. Here we go. Okay, we've landed here on Dreadnought now. And we're going to start with these things again. So, here we go. So, because we have such a long range, we have 600 meter range. I think it will benefit us to get on a bigger map. Because, you know, players can't use cover. We can just kind of fire at them when they're in the open. Um, okay, we're locking on here. Uh oh, that that looks like a Prisma Erebus. That guy could be an issue. Okay, we're moving, we're moving. If we go up here, maybe we can just shoot everyone on the whole map. Because we have, like, the highest point of elevation. Oh, that Prisma. we got to jump off the roof. We have to jump off the roof. That Prisma is melting us. Holy man. Okay, here we go. Oh, see, I was saying the AI is pretty good for the homing missiles on the Hydra, and then the things go onto on the wall. Well, they were good when I last used these weapons, which was like five years ago. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, we didn't get the kill. I thought we were going to get the kill there. Okay, okay. Uh, We're still reloading. It feels like we're waiting forever to reload. Okay, boom. This guy did not have an anti-control. Man, look at that damage. Oh, actually, someone else is shooting. I think someone else was shooting at him as well, so it wasn't just us. It was a little bit too good to be true. Okay, that looks like an Aojun that's coming around the corner. Let's hit him. Yes. We hit that Aojun. Oh, no, there's Revenant's teleporting at us. I want the kill, though. Yes! We got a kill. Yeah, we got a kill with the Hydra. We have played one and a half games right now, and we have a, a combined one kill. Ooh, we just took some damage there from that orbital strike. Oh man, this is a pretty good damage too, actually. Double kill! That damage actually wasn't too bad. That was pretty surprising. Man, these weapons, they don't even look cool. Like, if you look at these weapons, you're like, oh, these look, these look dumb. They look like mini hot dogs. Mini hot dog shooters. We get a kill here. Of course we can't. Darn it. And Pixonic still hasn't introduced a freaking reload button for lock-on weapons. That came to the test server I like three, four years ago. And they never brought it to the game. Which is absolutely stupid considering lock-on weapons are... Not overpowered at all in the game. You're underpowered. Oh, uh, we hit that invader. Man, our Hydra can't even go that low. Bro, we're just fire we just fired all of our Hydra into the ceiling of this ship. Freaking gourmet pineapple. Rice. Okay, we hit that Oroshi. We hit the Oroshi! We're dealing a little bit of damage. Bro, how is he doing so much damage? Oh, we're lagging out too now. We're getting lagged. Whoa! Whoa! We're gonna die. What is this lag? 
What the hell was that? Why did we just lag out so bad? Our connection is perfect. And that just happens. Let me know if that happens to you guys. That's the stupidest thing ever. Okay, now let's... We're gonna get this win after that... Those terrible Hydra, man. So there we have it. Uh-oh, hold on. Let's try to kill this invader. Okay, we didn't get the kill. Man, we're pushing pretty hard here. Shout out to my teammates because I was hanging back with the Hydra. We're getting a four cap. We're actually melting up right now, though. Uh, still six minutes to go, but let's see if we can put on the pressure here. We're locked down. Hold on here. They're all dropping in at their home. They got four players back here. And man, we know... We all know what the Whiteout Drone does by now. The Whiteout Drone on the Shellbot, it's like a double cluster bomb of destruction. Uh, he's backing off. He's scared. He's scared. Because going and blasting enemies with the Shell Blast and then having the EMP Whiteout Drone is a super OP combo. Probably Perk Baby. The, the names that some people have are just the stupidest thing ever. Okay, we're going to ditch the shell. Let's drop in our Minos. This is our Minos Lantern. Melt. There we go. There we go. Man, what makes these new weapons so powerful is just the target malfunction. It screws with, with everybody's targeting. Whether you have a reflector, some kind of resistance, the last stand... It messes with it so much. Oh, we just Orion that Sharanga back there. And look at his health. We are slicing and dicing. Titan Slayer. We're getting a five cap. Okay. This nightmare is just about over with the Hydra. Hold on. Let's go. Uh, okay, the game's over. Let's run in here. This behemoth. You think you can take me on, bro? You think you can take me on, bro? Okay. There we have it. Man, we had two games. What can I say? It's exactly what you expect. I was the idiot who thought the Hydra could actually be decent. I Mark III'd the Hydra. But now you know just how bad. Those might be the worst medium weapon in the game. Until next time, SpaghettiO Monkeys. Peace.